Hello, my beautiful thinking people, you. Welcome back to Avocation X and your host, Clyde Phillips. I have an urgent topic for you guys today. On the world stage, there are events taking place right now that I'm sure very few of you know about. Other than, I'm sure, my 1585ers, we've all had numerous conversations. What am I talking about? Or are you asking that? Do you even care? You will care about the outcomes, but do you care about the information so that you can be informed? If you do care, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, share these videos with everyone you care about. Lots and lots of views. We're really lacking in subscribers. Hit the like button too. Or the don't like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. At least you'll be participating in ways that will actually show the algorithm that we need to be shared with more people. On the world stage, what's going on? Mark my words right now. I want you to mark it on your calendar. Clyde said this, and then see when it happens. The Middle East, Africa, Egypt, that whole area is about to come under siege. When I say siege, look up the word and you'll know exactly what it refers to at least. And let me tell you what's going on there. Everyone is turning against the West. Every other country out there. That means Europe. That means America, Canada, and unfortunately, Australia. So let me tell you what's going to happen. For those of you that have heard of the BRICS, the BRICS is an organization that was to begin with uh, Brazil, uh, Russia, India, and China. Huge powers, world powers, that are developing or developed. What the BRICS has done is it has expanded. It's expanded large. It has a huge swath of the population of the world now that is under the BRICS umbrella. There are 34 more countries waiting to join the BRICS. They already have a new monetary fund bank. They are now working hard towards building a new currency exchange system that will get them away from the West. Most of them have been compiling gold stocks like you wouldn't, and I don't mean stocks as in uh, stock market stocks. I'm talking about stockpiles of gold, silver, precious metals of all kinds. They're stockpiling those. Why? Because their new currency system will be backed by real tangible items. Rather than these, the currency that we all rely on now, which is just basically blown out of a printing press and at whatever rate they want it to and causing as much inflation and degradation of our ability to live as they care to do to us. And we all just sit back and let it happen. We could do something about it. We could have stopped them years and years ago when they said we want to go away from the gold standard. Because the only reason we went to this petrodollar standard is because we can be controlled and manipulated through it. They can arrange prices up or down whichever way they like. And listen, if we have a petrol dollar and we put the price of oil way up, look at all those countries that we think could rise up and challenge us. They'll never get off their knees because we'll keep the prices so high on them they'll never be able to afford to even look the other way all they have to do is raise the price of commodities that are necessary for these rising stars and that's what they've tried to do over and over again i'm not going to mention the name of the country but i can tell you this they had an embargo against a certain country that would disallow them access to really high-end chips that would allow their technology to go forward at a fast pace. And of course, that was to stop them from catching up to the West. Little did they know, they had been working on their own style of chips that have come out to be way better. Isn't that crazy? So those people who are part of the BRICS are going to probably be serviced by these chips and not even having a need for any of the others. 
Folks, we need to wake up. Our leaders have been asleep at the wheel. And in a way, I'm kind of glad. Because the way they ruled this world was nasty. By murder, deceit, deception, and pitting everybody against themselves. And watching them kill each other. And in the back room, chuckling. I have heard tapes from high-end politicians talking about Europeans as if they are dirt, actually using a derogatory term towards them like, F those Europeans, who cares, we'll do it anyway. Folks, do some research. I'm telling you, what you're going to find will blow your mind. You're going to know I've been trying to warn you. So this is coming to the Middle East and to Africa and all these areas. A lot of the countries in those areas are now saying no to the colonizers. They're saying, we're not going to follow your directions anymore because you've done nothing good for us except for use and abuse us. You have kept us down too long. We know that you've come here and you've taken this from us and given us 80 cents a kilogram. And then you've taken it on the open market the Western market, and sold the same thing for $200 a kilogram. How do you expect us to trust you anymore? They're going to lash out, folks. Don't buy the stories you're going to be hearing in this next while. It has nothing to do with anything other than people saying, no more. We don't want you here anymore. We don't need you. We don't want your help. We don't want your aid. We don't want anything from you. And we definitely don't want your culture. We don't want anything from you. Just leave us alone, and we'll leave you alone. But they're not going to leave them alone, folks. But guess why? Because you folks don't stand up and say anything. If you stand up and say something, stop the tyranny, stop the garbage, and I know it's going to be tough on you, because I know in the back of your mind you're going to be thinking, yeah, but is my standard of living going to go down? Yeah, it will. But it might save millions and millions and millions of lives. We're not talking about 26. You remember how you guys all got together and went crazy when 26 civilians had died in that country that has been supported wholly and solely by the West in this last while? Remember they're fighting for their sovereignty? They're fighting for their country and you've all given up all your money. You've flown the flags, you've done everything you can. The government and the friends of the government are some of the most corrupt people in the entire world, and you've given them all your money. No, sorry, not all your money, all your debt. You've gone into such deep debt in order to make sure that they can steal more money. How do you feel? You feel good? Oh, no, right. You think I'm lying, right? I have a reason to lie to you, right? I'm gaining something from lying to you. Do your research. These folks have really pulled the wool over your eyes. Think of how much good your debt could have done for the people in your country who are in need. Anyway, folks, keep your eye on what's going on. Keep an eye on what you're starting to hear on the mainstream news, because all they're going to do is they're going to talk down about people in those areas I discussed. They were their friends. They were good people. As long as they were allowing us to steal everything they own without a whimper, we love them. We love them all, but not anymore, because too many of them are standing up saying, enough is enough. We're done. And those leaders in those areas who capitulate, they're turning on their own people. Just to save face. Don't allow that to be you. Stand up for what's right and get ready to stop these people in their tracks from the evil that they do all around the world. Intelligence agencies, they're smart. They are very, very smart. They devise diabolical ways to get people to comply. <sighs> Let's hope you are never on the receiving end of their talents. So folks, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, share these videos with all you know and all you will know in the future. Let's give ourselves a chance 
for a future of cooperation and maybe universal love around the world. That doesn't mean universal like. You don't have to like everything other people do. But we need to love each other. In order for us to stay unified and protect each other from the ills and the harm that's coming. <sighs> stay safe, folks. Stay healthy. And above all, stay as happy as humanly possible. And until next time, I love you all.